Good morning, everybody. I would like to thank you all for being here and welcome you to UNESCO Tech. We are delighted and certainly very honored for having been chosen as the local think tank hosting this meeting. I would like to acknowledge all the wise um, work, <coughs> the enlightenment that you have provided to all of us, and certainly also to acknowledge the tour of Europe and to thank Inesc for this unique opportunity to have such a nice group of leaders in this country discussing what we are. We are an European citizen and we want to be part of the European process of building a Europe of knowledge. Thank you very much. The RISE Group is working to support Commissioner Carlos Moidash uh, to help us develop the future uh, policies for research and innovation in the European Union based around the principles of open science, open innovation and open to the world. So I'm very much hoping that this meeting, uh, which is part of a series around the European Union, will enable us to better understand the expectations, the hopes, the needs of the scientific community in Portugal and the contribution that you'll make to the future of European science and innovation. We are very pleased to be hosted here by the Minister Manuel Eitor and I fully endorse what the Minister has said. We need to invest more in research and in innovation, both public sector and private sector. We need definitely more open collaborative partnerships that are bottom-up driven and induce collaboration between research, education, innovation and large industries as well as small entrepreneurial firms and first of all which is maybe most important we need to invest in people because entrepreneurial innovative Europeans will need to create opportunities for themselves we live in times of disruption and this is our responsibility to help people believe that they can thrive in Europe we live in a moment where there are many challenges in the world, sustainability. Uh, we are entering into a new world that we don't really know in terms of technologies, what are the implications, how digitalization is changing our life. There are big challenges, but I also believe that there is a moment of great opportunities. Because the same technologies that create challenges also offer us the chance to solve the great challenges of uh, society, uh, to make our uh, life be better, better health, better care for the environment, better care for people, better jobs. Uh, to do this, of course, we need a lot of research, we need a lot of innovation, but we also need the help and engagement of uh, every single stakeholder, every single citizen uh, in Europe. Uh, the two drop uh, for me, for us, is a great opportunity to get more in touch with uh, Europe at the local level with the people who's deciding locally, with citizens who are acting locally, to really have a sense of the diversity and the richness that we have. So being in Porto is, is a pleasure for the RISE group of members that advise the European Commission, because again, getting the feedback from people that are based on universities, researchers and, and universities and institutes is fundamental in shaping up European policy and we as advisors to the Commissioner can transmit and incorporate the feedback uh, regarding what we, in taking account into what we heard from the, from the experts. A minha participação foi dentro de, um, de toda esta discussão sobre a necessidade de envolver de uma maneira muito intensa os cidadãos uh, na ciência. E isso é mesmo aquilo que nós já vimos fazendo aqui no nosso país há 20 anos, nomeadamente através da Ciência Viva, uh, mas também tantas outras instituições científicas e outros museus e centros de ciência fazem este magnífico trabalho de pôr a ciência na sociedade. Uh, precisamos de agir muito depressa e de uma maneira muito concertada para poder fazer com que, principalmente os nossos jovens, possam escolher carreiras científicas, possam perceber que o conhecimento uh, abre as portas para tudo e, e tantas opções de vida. Estas reuniões são importantes porque permitem 
a, 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 a troca de ideias e poder irmos a tempo de poder dar contributos para melhorar uh, este novo programa 4. Em que se discutiu, por um lado, como é que a política europeia de ciência e tecnologia chega a todos e chegar a todos, neste caso, instituições dos diversos países e de dimensões muito diferentes e a todos também em termos de cidadãos. Como é que, como é que todos estes, toda esta esfera se participa, se pode participar? Do meu ponto de vista, procurei chamar a atenção para duas realidades que me interessam. Por um lado, o Air Center, que é uma nova organização científica internacional que Portugal está a promover e, nesse contexto, chamar a atenção para a importância do problema dos microplásticos, que estão muito, que se pensa estarem muito disseminados no, no, no oceano e que têm consequências, podem ter consequências gravosas para diversos aspectos, incluindo a saúde humana. Collaboration and uh, uh, the path from knowledge to impact are two key essential features uh, of INESC Tech and those are present in the openness that we discussed today and in these three components of science innovation and uh, engaging and interacting uh, with the world. Uh, so for us here at INESC Tech it was a pleasure to, to host this, uh, this workshop and the meeting of uh, people who came here in the same spirit of openness openness to bring us their experiences, their perspectives and their desires uh, regarding the uh, evolution of the policies of the European Union uh, for the area of research and innovation. So we hope with our participation in this uh, workshop to contribute to uh, better shape uh, European policies in the future, knowing that better policies uh, will also uh, enable us and empower us as individual researchers and collectively to do research and innovation work that is more impactful, that is more meaningful and also more productive.